looks like we got, uh, I believe that's Aryan A sitting down right now, getting ready to go. And then I believe that, yeah, Swiga on one end. Oh, Spidey and Swiga. Okay, that's what we have here. Spidey and Swiga stepping up, already good to go, fizz bumping and everything. So we're we're jumping straight into Pokemon Trainer versus Bowser for round one tonight. How, how are you feeling about that? Uh, it's a bit of a weird matchup, just because it depends on which Pokemon you have out. But generally, uh, I actually like this matchup for PT, mm -hmm. just because you you have a lot more options to deal with Bowser. Uh, you can kind of just outspace him if you're playing Ivysaur. Uh, and obviously, if you're playing Squirtle, you get these big, big combos. So I'm right. a big fan. I tend to agree, like, yeah, you, like, obviously most people like to start out with Squirtle to get those low percent combos in, but if you end up faltering in the neutral, you can find yourself taking really big hits with a character that's uh, not so resistant to it, uh, being Squirtle in that situation. We can already see a switch to Charizard being made here by Swiga, as you can see the percents are still even, Spidey's doing a great job at keeping up on the Bowser pick, even applying some Flame Breath. And you know what? I keep forgetting that both of those names are different. Flame Breath, I think, is Bowser's, and then Flame Thrower is definitely Charizard's. Yeah, it's the the HM flamethrower. Yeah, there you go, flamethrower, and then I guess like fire breath is different somehow. But I was gonna be cool if Bowser had like the little like projectile ones in the actual Mario games. But hey, good jab string coming out from Swiga to get some good distancing. Sometimes he's gonna get those jabs in, but hey, a side B is definitely what Spidey needs to get himself on the map for this first game. Very solid KO option available to him there. Uh, oh. Side B almost getting that upbeat connection, but instead landing a forward smash. To tie it to stock counting, man. We got a pretty even game here so far. Yeah, here comes uh, the big combos from Swigga, though. Pulling out the Squirtle. Gotta get something started here. Just getting a lot of nickel and dimes, but that's not really what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's working fine, but if you can, you want to get these big combos instead. And that's what we're starting to see. Swigga just winning all these neutral interactions. Really, really nice. Right, yeah. Just pulling them out left and right. And at the same time, we got here, you know. I'll be out of shield. It's a very consistent option, I'm sure you're aware. It's a very safe option, and uh, Spidey's just putting it to good use. Not getting too predictable, though. Even uh, letting out a couple other side pieces is what to mix things up a little bit. Okay! Oh. Interesting <laughs> trade there. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm kind of interested in that, but there we go. Stock lead coming out here now. Yeah, really good stock lead here for Swigga. Spidey, gotta figure something out. Good ledge trapping, Swigga. Oh! Ooh, that's a stock. And a shield break. Yup to tie it right back up so that's a that's like let, let's go down the checklist here that's a shield break a stock a tied game and a tied set like come on that, 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 that that's a pretty momentous uh forward smash right there we gotta commemorate that yeah that was really really good for spidey and it's oh, one it get another row. shield break oh but you gotta go closer to the edge yeah that could have been a stock maybe yeah, they got a little repositioning on the lightest of the three Pokemon. Man, that could have been way bigger, but you know what? Two in a row, you gotta take it for what it is. It's a big move. Yeah. Very aggressive holding Flamethrower uh, just that much longer, but pays it off. Spidey oh! gets the side special. Not quite enough to kill, but another one will do the trick. Alright. Here we go. Good Swiggas. Okay. Yeah, I play, yes. definitely playing the safe game right now. You see with those drop down arrows from the platform, very popular choice and a very good oh. option. Good enough to take the first game of this set. So we just take more of this. It's a game one. Yeah, that seemed like kind of a panic down air. Uh, down air is one of. It's not a great landing option. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of just unfortunate. It, it really felt like Spidey was putting it all or nothing on that down air, and it just didn't quite pan out. Right. Yeah, Tragic. Yeah, I know for a fact that both of these two um, players, like, solo main their respective choices, so the only real option that's available to Swigo would be a counterpick and stage, which it looks like we'll be getting here with Smashville, and also another important factor is a change in game plan here. Seems to have a pretty solid game plan, really uh, kept things like very even from uh, front to back, but we're gonna have to see a little bit of a, of a little bit of additional nuance or a little bit of a change in uh, plans to have things, you know, sway into his favor. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. Seems to be playing a lot more safer this time around with the Squirtle pick. Yeah, which, you know, I absolutely agree with that. You definitely want to play safe. You wait your time and wait for your moment, because uh, if you swing a little too early and you miss, you're gonna be mm -hmm. taking a lot of damage. Yeah, we saw that earlier. I mean, I, I yeah, we, we did touch on that at the beginning of the match. Uh, There's a little bit of a nuance you got to have when you're going up against a heavy like Bowser. 
And it seems like Swiggy seems to be taking that into the account. Switching to Ivy Sword. He gets some really good damage up there into up. He's exactly what Swiggy needs to pull out in front. But at 91% and a big old platform in the middle. And there's a couple of options for Swiggy to set up some pretty strong options to tie things up. Yeah, just one of those things you gotta be aware of. Great F smash, uh, great call out stuff. Swiggy has been neutral get upping uh, a lot recently, so it's a good uh, punish there. Exactly, um, yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah, good equally stuff. good of Spidey to acknowledge it, though, you know? It's, it's one thing for us to acknowledge it, but, you know, the, the player got to do it, too. And we're definitely seeing Spidey, Spidey uh, pull through on that. Let's see. Swigga gets center stage. Spidey eating a beefy back air. Got to make it back onto stage. Oh, Ooh. no! Ooh. Accidentally buffers a nair and falls to his death. And now uh, Swigga has a good stock lead. Mm -hmm. He saw more than ready to punish that neutral getup option, but Swigga is evolving. Pokemon pun entirely intended. <laughs> and uh, def definitely gonna get a couple level ups on that. You see, uh, definitely mixing up the recovery options. Just definitely like sway the ledge entirely in that instance. So getting a little bit creative here with a disadvantage and even pushing it into an advantage state, landing that flame breath or flame door. Clarify that. There we go. Good forwarder though from Spidey to tie up the stock count. 44%. In favor of Swigga in this game too. That was such an aggressive up special there by Speedy or Spidey, excuse me. Mm. Just straight up let it rip on shield. <laughs> oh no! Letting rip a downer though to take it 2-0 and Swigga is proceeding on to the next round. What a play there? Yeah, Swigga gonna be going up against Captain Kerp next.